custom cursor is a Chrome extension that allows you to change your mouse pointer into a little picture. This makes your cursor more prominent when sharing your screen with students in class or while teaching remotely. Custom cursor can also work as a conducting pointer for sing-along or play-along activities. I'm Katie from Midnight Music and this is a music tech tip video. First, you'll need to install the custom cursor extension. Once you've installed it in your Chrome browser, you can go to the custom cursor menu and choose the cursor you want to use. There are a number of different themes, styles and characters and you can choose something that suits your lesson topic. There are two pictures in each set. One is for when your mouse is hovering and the other one shows when you move your mouse over a clickable item on your screen. It's important to note that Custom Cursor only works on things that live in your browser, so it won't show on applications that are installed locally on your computer. You'll also get different results depending on which type of browser app or website you're using. For instance, in Google Slides, Custom Cursor won't show on the slides when you're in edit mode, only on the toolbar and the slide navigator. However, it will show in preview or present mode and this means that you could use Custom Cursor as your conductor for performance-based activities like play-alongs or sing-alongs as long as you're in that preview or present mode. In the Custom Cursor menu, you can make the cursor bigger or smaller here. And when you want to return to your regular cursor, click on this power button icon here. You can add more cursor options to your menu like my set of Among Us cursors by clicking the More Cursors button and browsing the website. You can add individual cursors or an entire collection at once. And you can even upload your own custom cursors. The images need to be PNG files with a transparent background and the dimensions should be a maximum of 128 by 128 pixels. You could try some notation clip art, some instrument pictures or even your own Bitmoji. I hope you found this tech tip useful. You can show your support by clicking like, hitting the subscribe button and sharing this video with your friends. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.